So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a way that you can wrap a gift and make it look like a shirt design. So for this, you will need your gift wrap. And today I'm using a pretty gifted bespoke gift wrap. Um, you can choose the wording that you want to actually use on the gift wrap. You need some ordinary tape, some double sided tape, your scissors, and some ribbon and you can choose to go completely clashing or um, something bright and the first thing I'm going to do is just cut a piece off the edge of my paper so making sure that I have enough to close Just... This bit, what we're going to do is we're going to pleat it and what we're looking for is to create the tuxedo front of a man's shirt or a lady's shirt. And I'm going to make it about an inch and a half each fold. That's the first one. And you can be quite firm and press down each of the edges. There we go. And then we're going to fold it in again. Just folding it in on itself. We're not doing concertina style. We're just folding it in on itself. So now that we've got those folds in our paper, so I've only done each of the folds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a pleat. There we go, so I can pinch it and bring it forward. There we go. And then the second one, again, I'm going to just make sure that that is a nice sharp crease. And this time I'm going to fold it away from me. So if you imagine a tuxedo shirt, it has that pleated effect down the front. That's all we're trying to recreate. We're only going to do a couple of folds, though. We're not going to do multiple. You could if you wanted to, but for the purposes of this one, we're just going to turn that over. So we're turning it away from us. So what we got is the panel down the front of your tuxedo shirt. And we've got these folds in place. So what we need to do is just turn it over and make sure those pleats are nice and flat and in place. And we're going to take our ordinary tape. And then we have our front of our shirt. And I'm just going to pop that to one side and go back to our book. So now I'm going to wrap the actual book. Now normally when we're wrapping, I would be bringing the edge of the gift wrap to the edge of the parcel. And now what we need to do, because what we're going to stick on the front is our tuxedo pleat. And using our double sided tape, this is good tape, you can just tear it off. I'm just gonna take a piece and I'm going to attach it down those little folded edges that we did at the start. And then making sure that my letters and words are the right way up and that we're going to pop it in the middle. I'm going to stick that on the front. And there we go. So that's the first part. Now what we need to do is close one end of the book. Now, we're going to leave the parcel facing this way with the pleat on the front. 
because the next bit, bit we need to do is create the column. I'm going to turn it this way around first. Now I've got quite a bit there, so I'm going to trim a little bit off for this next bit. So I don't have too much bulk around the collar. Let's move that to one side. And then all I'm going to do, remember that the pleat is on the side on your table. And I'm just going to turn it once and then twice. Make sure I've got no creases in there. There we go. And then twice like that. And then using my scissors, I'm going to cut from this edge almost to where I've added the front of the shirt and I'm going to do it on both sides. So starting this one, just a small cut almost to the middle and repeat again on the other side So that's creating our shoulders. And then I'm going to undo this, I'm going to cut on an angle from the edge of our pleat, sorry, up to, from our fold into the corner there to where we've just created our shoulder. Now, what we need next is our tie. I'm going to use this yellow ribbon. And I'm just going to stick a little bit of tape on the back of the ribbon so that it's held in place. And stick it into there. And then we can fold it over. I'm just going to stick a bit of tape just to make sure everything holds together. And make sure I have an equal amount of ribbon on both sides. So I'm using a 15 millimeter ribbon. So I just cut that bit off, just move that out of the way. Now this is creating the collar of our shirt. So I'm just going to make sure that they're nicely creased. And I'm going to fold in There we go again, just making sure that we have nice, sharp edges. And I'm just going to quickly turn that like that. And then I don't know about anybody else, but it's a long time since I tied a tie for school. And I find it so much easier to actually have it facing away from me. So I'm just going to create um, the tied effect. And so you just create tying a tie the same way as you would an ordinary gentleman's tie. I like a, a Windsor knot. So I'm just going to create that. And then obviously you can slide it, make sure it's in the right place. Now you might want a slouchy bow, you might want it pulled nice and tight. And then I'm just going to cut the edges of the ends there and I'm just going to do it on an angle. Okay, now you could have them the same length, you could cut them um, obviously separate and I'll get rid of that little frayed bit just to make it nice and neat. Now the last bit that we need to do is just to fold these bits in and I'm just going to go and fold it in like this, and I'm going to repeat exactly the same on the other side. And with my double-sided tape, I'm just going to pop a little piece of the double-sided tape inside. My shoulder pieces 
in place. So that's one side. And then hold it in place. So there's our shoulders and our tie. With our pleats. Last thing you can do is just raise those pleats a little bit to give it a bit of extra detail. And then we have our shirt design.